Welcome to another episode of PSRE Science Made Simple. My name is Jolie and I'm a PSRE Science Specialist from the PIG Lab. Now in this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of light. I've included this question in the handout which you can download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. Now, Mr. Lim conducted an experiment in a completely dark room to find out how much light is reflected by three different materials, A, B, and C. So he set up his experiment as shown in the diagram below. Let us dissect this diagram. Now, over here, we know that there is a light source, which is the torch. And light from the torch, as drawn by the light rays, reaches the material being tested and then it is reflected into the light sensor. So the term light sensor can be new to the P4 students. In this case, we tell them that light sensor simply measures the amount of light received. So over here, I will write this down. It measures the amount of light received. Okay? And then after that, the table below then shows how much light was reflected by each of the materials. So let's take a look at the table. Now we know that the distance between the materials and the light source were kept the same at 5 meters each. And then they were also given the result, which is the amount of light reflected. And it is measured in this term we call lux. Okay, so what is lux? All right, lux may be also a new term to some of the P4s. We would just say that lux is actually the unit for light. Just like how meter, centimeter is the units for length, lux is how we use to measure light or is the units for light. So at this point, I would ask my students, are you able to tell which material reflects the most amount of light? In this case, we compare 40 units for A, 20 units for B, 60 units for C. You know that C is the one that reflects the most light. So since C reflects the most light, that means that C is the most reflective material. Now let's go to the other extreme opposite. Which material reflects the least light? That would be material B. So material B reflects the least light. That means we can confirm that it is the least reflective material. So with that being done, let's take a look at part A. Now part A asks, explain why Mr. Lim should conduct his experiment in a completely dark room to ensure a fair test. When we see the word to ensure a fair test, I think students are able to tell me that for a fair test to occur, there must only be one change variable. So let's write this down over here. There can only be one change variable. And for this experiment, what is the change variable? What is different? We are changing the material, the type of material. So the change variable for this question is the type of material. So other than the type of material being different, everything else should be kept the same. So in that case, why do we place this setup in a dark room? Now remember, in order for us to get our result, we have to have the light sensor there to measure the amount of light received. All right, And the amount of light received is actually the amount of light that is reflected off the material. Imagine now, if we didn't place this setup in a dark room, we place it in a room with maybe a window. Okay, with a window, and there is light passing through the window, all right, into the room. Now, would this affect the experiment results? Yes, because now the light sensor not only detects the light reflected off the material, the light sensor also detects the light from the surroundings. So, in that case, would the experiment be fair? No, it will not be accurate at all. It will not be a fair test because the light sensor receives light from different sources. I cannot tell whether is it the light reflected of the material that affects the results or is it the light from the surrounding that affects the results. So over here, why do I place this setup in a dark room? It's because 
conducting the experiment in a dark room ensures that the light sensor only receives the light coming from the torch that is reflected off the material and not any other light sources in the surrounding. And that's your answer for part A. For part B, based on the results of the experiment, we need to choose a material that is the most suitable for making bicycle reflectors for cyclists who cycle at night. Now, what are bicycle reflectors? So for cyclists who cycle at night, the struggle is that they are not seen easily, all right? It's very difficult to see the cyclists at night. Okay, that is why bicycle reflectors are installed on the bikes. So what are these bicycle reflectors? Basically, they reflect light into other people's eyes so that the cyclists can be seen easily. So if I want to be seen easily, do you think the bicycle reflectors should be made from the least reflective material or the most reflective material? I want to be seen easily. I want to be seen clearly. That means I want the reflector to reflect the most amount of light. I would want to choose the most, the most reflective material. So this is a choosing question. Remember, for choosing questions, how do we phrase our answer? We use the CUE template. So the first one, C, choose. What do we choose? If I want to choose the most reflective material, I would choose material C. All right, that is my choose. Then after that, use the data. Why do we choose material C? It's because material C reflected the most amount of light when the materials were all placed 5 meters away from the light source. That is using the data that's given to you. And then finally, you explain why. All right, why do we want the most reflective material? Because when material C reflected the most light, this means that it is the most reflective and most amount of light from the light source would be reflected off the bicycle reflectors made of material C, allowing the cyclist to be seen the most easily. And that's how you structure your answer. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we have made, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!